I'm gonna act my best. <laughs> yeah, so Anyways, we catching the sun go down. <laughs> you see, you're just laughing. <laughs> Can't I laugh? Yeah. Okay. okay. We. we <laughs> Anyways. <laughs>
but this place is beautiful. So over here, we've got like a mini cocktail thing going on. I think I'm going to make a cocktail. We never touch this. We've been drinking champagne since we came. <laughs> champagne. <da. laughs> Sorry, but I. We've got various. Okay, this is gin. This is yeah. I'm not good at alcohol, guys. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, this is all gin, right? There's cocktails here. Then we've got a bit of snacks, and then obviously we had bilto in here. We had bilto in here. The hands managed to eat all of it. Over here we've got a schmeg, darling. Schmeg. We've got a schmeg stove. <laughs> we've got a stove here. Kettle over here. They've already set up our dinner table. It is so beautiful, guys. How do I look? <laughs> With gold in my hand. I'm gonna continue. It's a beautiful setup here, and then I hope you guys can see it tonight in the glass reflections. Sorry, in the glass reflections. Here we've got a fan, darling. Then over here we've got fruits. What I love. Oh, we have aprons here, so we're gonna have um. A cooking competition at tuna and I obviously I know when <laughs> he will win but we're gonna have a cooking competition here I love this we just got small alcohol here I don't know how my mom would feel about this it's a whole lot of glasses here and more water and then um this bread here so ooh, this looks divine goodbye 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 diet. Basically, thank you, thank you, Gondana, for ruining my diet. But I love it. It's a good ruin. I love it. And then over here, I've got your jam syrup. How do I pronounce this? Nutella. Nutella. Okay, I don't eat it. That's why I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, I also eat things I don't know how to pronounce. But I love this. This is probably where I'm going to be spending most of my time. Nice. You've got pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, nuts. This is what my doctor prescribed for me. More schmeg here, and then we have a coffee machine. I don't know if I can sit on here. Over here, we've got marshmallows, darling. More snacks, obviously. Over here, we have me drinking champagne. Well, the fridge, darling. As I said, you guys could see that because the, the, the fridge is glass, you could see it in through the glass. So we've got some cool drink, beer, uh, everything. And then in here we've got some oh guys. They have they have uh, dinner and breakfast ready in here for us. This uh, what do you call this stuff for the gin? Talk. You know you're the one who drinks this. Oh, gin tonic, I tonic, various flavors of tonic. We've got water in here. What I love. <laughs> We've got some dessert, darling. Some dessert here. I think this is dessert for dinner today. Let me just put my glass. Okay, can't put my glass down, but thank you. Can't put my. Okay, that was good. So I think they were very. Um, I appreciate the fact that they inquired about our dietary requirements. Why so close to me? <laughs> and I told them more veggies, more healthy stuff because, yeah, guys, I'm trying to get a summer body, although it's already summer, so. What I'm trying to say is they made some uh, greens for us and then there is some crust with some chicken. Is dinner really dinner if there's no chicken? There's more here, so I think we're gonna have a cooking competition here. There's oryx steak. How do you know it's oryx steak, babe? Because they said so. Oh, they said it's oryx steak. And then there's a whole lot here, up here. There's a whole lot in this fridge, but this is our breakfast and dinner sorted. And then down in here, we've got a lot of ice and... Uh-oh, sorry guys. A lot of yogurt and something. Oh, sorry. It's not a yogurt. It's ice cream, according to Hans. Why are you so close to me? And then... Guys, I'm gonna see it today in the reflection again. Or not, we are gonna head over to the room. Can I have my glass? We're gonna head over to the room. So far, are you guys enjoying this tour? Are you guys enjoying this place as, as much as I am? I should probably be more calm because of the place that, darling, it is serving looks. That is why I am not calm. In here, in here, guys, in here. <laughs> it's all my dreams coming true in here. So, let me take you to Guess who has a rope, darling? I've got a rope, darling. <laughs> guys, this place is so amazing. Okay. So I'm gonna give you a tour. I'm gonna put my glass down and I'm gonna give you a tour of the rest of 
this freely so we've got some robes here okay and then coming here here is our bathroom <laughs> our shower and so in here i just peeped we've got like a everything you need so if you forgot anything you've got shaving dental shoe sewing everything you need is in here i'm gonna put it back <laughs> and then here obviously you guys know me i love mirrors this is our vanity this is our vanity so can they see you in your mirror you guys the reason why you can't see hans is because hans is in swimwear <laughs> <laughs> but yeah oh, oh 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 i forgot to mention i love that they use namibian products so this is mbiri this is hand and body this is a hand wash and they are both namibian products i love love the fact that they do this and it's a, it is a namibian law so it only makes sense and yeah we took a shower and the stuff smells divine like there's body oil in the shower Ugh, guys it's beautiful and then what is in here this drawers here <gasps> Guess who? There's a whisperer first aid kit. I love this. Wow, guys, this is you know, it's really okay. It was well thought of because it's the two of us. It's it's not too far from Namib Desert Lodge, but but I think seven to eight kilometers, and they leave you to yourself, sort of like peace, solitude, just you guys. So they sort of have everything in here. Over here, I think I don't have put this here. This is perfume. <laughs> doesn't come with the hotel. It doesn't come with the hotel. Why are you putting it in? There's face cloths. I love this. I love the finishing touches here. Guys, now this is such a beautiful spaceship. Is it Neil, Neil Armstrong that went to the moon base? Mm -hmm. Neil Armstrong, what you gotta say? Okay, let me continue giving you guys a room tour. Over here is our towels. Guys, I can't stress this enough. I really, really love Gondwana because let me show you guys this basket. Okay, we've got our slippers here. But most important, what I've seen with the Gondwana lodges, right? They have hot water bottles. Okay, right now it's summer, but these hot water bottles really, 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 really come in handy like um, during winter. And I appreciate that about them. Sometimes, okay, this is, sorry. Okay, this is obviously like a lodge for two, but sometimes if you are out, they would come in and put in your hot water bottles while you're away. It's such a beautiful gesture. Thank you, Gundana. I want to thank you. There's some towels here. In here. In here. We've got some goodies. I don't know. There's, there's a couple of stuff, but they said uh, we can use while we're here. Or uh, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Beautiful stuff. It's not just beautiful, guys. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. <laughs> this over here is our lounge, darling. We've got a lounge, darling. We've got a lounge, guys. This place is beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, in here, in here, we've got some chairs. I'm gonna teach me how to play chess. Mm -hmm. Guys, I don't know how to play chess, but we're gonna do that today. We're going to bond and just have some time to ourselves. And I need to calm down. The excitement of the place has gotten to me and the place is really i think i need to take my shades off so i can just express how beautiful this place is it's we came here just to have a us time you know to relax not even get to know each other because i think we know each other by now or is it you don't get to know someone in and out but i can tell you 80 percent he knows me 80 percent i know him so over here we've got some chairs i think you teach me how to play because mm -hmm. i don't know how to play you know it's just we're going to bond we're going to bond and just have a beautiful time here okay we have got binoculars here honey uh oh is this i need to adjust okay but yeah, yeah. we're able we saw giraffes earlier here oh, there's yeah. always yeah there's a couple this game here this game some candles more <laughs> Mr. Marshall speaker that we've already been abusing. I need to switch it off. <laughs> There's some books here. Guys, like, they literally give you everything that you need to sort of survive for the whole year. <laughs> they just come in to replenish the food. Yeah. And then over here, over here, my mom would not be proud. However, I am an adult now. Hey, darling, we've got a bar. We have got a bar. And I'm falling. 
for a bite i'm falling we've got some yeah we've got some whiskey here a whole lot of whiskey and yeah to ourselves excuse me alcohol makes me sneeze guys mm -hmm. my mom is so proud of me she's done well so far how are you guys enjoying this room tour this large tour guys it's really really beautiful i, I mean it's it's perfect taking you over over here i think is going to be my most this is where i'm going to spend most of my night stargazing <laughs> but i think it's full moon so i don't think we'll be able to see the stars i know holding the camera baby um it's full moon so i don't think we'll be we'll be able to see the stars as as clear as we would have if it wasn't full moon but this is where we'll be spending some of our time tonight very very thoughtful over here darlings over here is our sanctuary uh, as i was saying over here is our bed guys our bed has this beautiful view so there's there's a curtain here but you can literally draw it and you have this amazing view i think the namib desert it's so beautiful and over here darlings right now from everything we've experienced it's just been perfect so oh this is one more thing there's one more thing that i gotta show you guys come with me come with me come with me come with me outside here i think we're gonna watch the sun go down here today it is just beautiful so we have like a little big balcony balcony right here right Balcony right here, and oh, we'll get a swing here. Yes, it's so beautiful. We'll get to swing here, darling. Here, right here. Yeah, and I think you can get onto. I do not advise you get onto here, but that is um our room slash spaceship tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So we're going to eat now and then just relax and. We'll catch up later okay so we're catching the sun go down this place is so 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 beautiful babe how are you finding this place now this place is amazing guys i'm not really normally is. impressed by many places but yeah. this this is amazing oh just like you oh <laughs> yeah so we, we um let's show you guys how it's, the sun's going down Okay, looks That's like we would have to turn the camera around to show you guys, but this is us. Take a moment right here, feeling like it's out gear. Driving towards the sun with a rose and a gun. Feel the wind in my hair, going nowhere I swear. I wanna be the very best that no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. Chef, <laughs> what are we baking this morning? Okay, um, well, I'm just making bacon. Well, good morning, guys. We're just baking that um so what happens is let me just explain the process they sort of leave everything for you guys so that they don't need to keep coming in and out so they left a whole lot of breakfast some of it has made your meats your cheese so i'm just making bacon that we're going to eat with the bread and um everything else which is literally almost done and then we just set up and uh, have our breakfast yeah okay so this is breakfast we've got some bread muffins croissants then uh, various types of cheese we've got some fruits in there some water and yogurt Oof, i love the spoons those are really nice when we have juice with some eggs there we have yeah basically what you would need for breakfast 
and yeah that's uh breakfast in a nutshell so we're going to dig in now and okay so guys we're having breakfast but it's weird because right on the other side like on the kitchen side the stuff that is uh, preparing our lunch and cleaning it's, it's so weird but i guess that's what you get for being in isolation like this so yeah um this it's closed off but uh, it's because it's glass you can see the people even though we're sitting this side which is i guess we could get used to it but or maybe this is this is some a new experience and it it is how it's supposed to be but it's just a bit weird right mm -hmm. Still, I'm still a little bit sleepy, but uh, the desert can get quite hot. Eh? I don't think much happens here during the day. So we had lunch, slept, and now we are off for a sundown a drive. I'm just wearing a white shirt and olive shorts and uh, slippers, and I have a hat. My thing just fell off. Can I take it along? Yeah, I have a hat for the sun, but. Um, yeah and our host is quite punctual shame we're supposed to be done but hi ryan Hello. are you angry why didn't you come inside no, in the room but you could have come into the shade no, okay is it yeah, I'm also about <laughs> okay so we can go now Okay, yeah, so that was Ryan. Ryan is our host and is very, very, very hospitable. Shame guy. Now, you also maybe know that the Bushman people have traveled. They have yeah. been migrating from South Africa and they were the first people in Namibia. Mm -hmm. And any more like tags? um if they are a lot together and say for instance a, a lion comes down on them the light gray color okay so as you guys saw we did a bit of a tour and there's actually so this tour is really about um, landscape more on the landscape and it's beautiful you guys the transition from the mountains to just the dune like dune sand is it's amazing so we stopped over here for a little break that's Korea. that's our tour guide. our very he's actually our host he's been with us since we got here very very hospitable we felt like we're home for two days and i don't know if you guys can see that mountain it's that one right I'm going to zoom in. I'm zooming in on the camera. The mountain. Okay, I can't zoom in, but right next to my head. That's where our lodge is, right? Yeah. That's where we stay. And then uh we're just told, okay, maybe those are some things that we'll share, but far a little bit far on that side, there's a, a lodge that was just acquired by the Chinese guys. Like things are really moving at a fast pace in the south so if if you are into tourism and travel and you maybe want to acquire property this side maybe you should come check it out because it's a very very good yeah it's a good area to actually set up here but gondona is sort of scored right yes this was a big score uh this this the gondona area covers about twelve thousand. 12,500 hectares so within here is also where the desert grace is about uh, 9.5 kilometers there's also a June, June camp uh, Namib Desert Lodge and the camping you go is also there 
Oh, the one that I always see on the cars. Written, there's some cars written camping to go. Um, no, Namibia to go. Oh, Namibia to go. It's Namibia to go. Okay. Um, but if you say um, uh, 100, 100 meters mm -hmm. from the lodge, yeah. Um, it's the guide to the western south, southern part. Yeah. Um, it's where the camping, it's like an exclusive camping tents which is standing there. Which oh. they, it's the glamorous camping. Glamorous camping is it standing? Oh. They yeah. call it glamping. Glamping. Yeah. Oh, it's glamping so camping. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glamorous camping. camping. Yeah, yeah, for those luxury yeah. campers. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. yeah. So this camping to go. Yeah. Camping to go is also here. Yeah. So most of the, if you go on to the Gondwana side, there's like a lot of lodges in the south. I know Kalari and is not here. Yeah, Kalari and is more east. Okay. So, but your Desert Grace, your Desert Whisper, Namib Dune Lodge, Desert Dune, oh, Dune Star Camp, and then Camping to Go, they're all within this area, all accessible from here. In case you guys are wondering and thinking where those yeah. places are located. Oh. <laughs> okay. So we are viewing. This is Namib Desert. <laughs> you know, I keep getting the name wrong yeah, since I got here right. yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Lodge. So from up here, this is. Of course, it won't crack from here, but we yeah. are up here. It's 30 to 40 meters <laughs> down. Down, and that is the lodge. And that is the tented. Oh, that is camp to go, camping to go. Okay. Food, water, and then late afternoons, all of them will then be returning back to the nest. But once a piece of this nest fall down, they will be using the grass, the same grass, mm -hmm. but the grass inside to build another nest again. But if the if the nest is built in such an area where snakes are visiting more often mm -hmm. the birds will decide if they are going to migrate to another tree or totally migrate all right guys um we finally made it to the sundown dune and um the view here is amazing guys i really wish you could, i wish you guys could see what we're looking at it's but nice. yeah no it's we had a lovely, lovely game drive and yeah. um, we finally made it to some interesting facts as well. We learned a whole lot of facts about the oryx, about the weaver beds that yeah. built the, um, the big nest that I just showed you guys. Yeah. Those, um, there were some quite interesting facts and animals are actually smarter than we We give them credit are. for, yeah. And guys, yeah. I think the woman you might want to look up the... Is it the yellow mask? Or is it the mask? Weaver the, mask. Yeah, the mask weaver. The mask weaver bird. bird. Very very interesting facts about it. Uh -huh. Someone over here loves <laughs> that bird because of those facts. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> so that bird, just look it up. <laughs> you understand? Ladies, I think look up that bird. So we are uh, the our host has prepared like a snack, sundown a snack for us. Mm -hmm. Guys, our host is lovely. I can't actually stop. I can't yeah. say it enough, but he's very lovely. And also the contrast. There's like mountains and then dunes on the one side. Very beautiful. Yeah. Okay. I'll just show you guys around the surrounding area. So, okay. As you can see in the background there, there are many, many mountains. And the mountains. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's that. So they've prepared like a sundowner picnic for us and it's so beautiful. I think you can see the setting is very very clear. Okay, we've got like a snake bus oh, I'm going to dig in. Snake basket here. Then we've got some juice. <laughs> which I shall be indulging in. Thank you. <laughs> then we've got some juice, like um a whole lot more stuff there. And then we've got a cool box behind there where Rian is. For just for us, just the two of us. So it's a it's a private it's a private sun sundowner. 
it's a private sundowner drive and and guys this is actually a very very beautiful experience Ria said we are the very first guest to actually have a sundowner and uh, there's a <laughs> and there's a whisper so um when you come here next time i think this is like one of those experiences that you can't get anywhere else do it have fun and yeah we're going to indulge now before we go back to our Today is our third and last day at the uh, Desert Whisper. So um, last night we came back to our lodge quite late. We went for a sundowner drive and I think we just got carried away. That's how beautiful the experience is. We went to have breakfast now. But I see that they've replenished um, our sort of supply. So we, we've been here for three days. So they sort of come in and just um, replace or refill or refresh when they initially put in like the fruits breakfast and so forth so i'll just take you guys so i'll just show you guys how that looks like over here we got in more, more grapes they look very fresh and then there's some some bread and sweet stuff and then our fridge and our fridge and then in our fridge, I see they've um, refreshed our platter. There's dessert, some cheese in there. This is, I think, for lunch today. Yeah, lunch. Yeah. Then they've just um, gotten in more drinks. And then we have an additional fridge here that we forgot to show you guys. That just has more um, supplies. So we haven't actually drank much, but yeah. And then they've uh, refilled the bottom. Okay, guys. So that was our stay at the delight. That was our stay at the Desert Whisper beautiful place i would recommend anyone to at least spend two nights here because uh, our host indicated that i think we we're the first people to spend two nights here the very first people that were here spent three nights and then everybody else did one night i don't think you get um enough of the place to actually explore what they've got to offer for just one night excuse me so you can do the sundown uh, drive and then you can do the eco quad bikes or eco bikes so all that you can't do in one day and then experience really the hospitality, the service, the food variety, you know, the whole place. So I would recommend two nights at least, uh, and then you can do more if you, you would like to. So that is it from us. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know how you found it. And guys, subscribe. Please subscribe. Guys, I just realized I've been having a glass in my hand throughout this <laughs> weekend. It's unwinding it's relaxing so yeah guys i hope you liked it check out my instagram it's popping if i don't say so myself okay no it's not but there's more that i share on instagram than i do share on youtube so check it out and get to know me more for moving thank you for watching i'll catch up with you guys